that the engineers and the scientists have as well around the clean tech opportunities to learn more about how they can invest in the right areas. God knows we don't have enough engineers for the next 20 years. You know, we need to train clean energy engineers. Luckily Ireland's got a head start because you've been doing renewable energy for a few years. You could export that knowledge. You know, the way you manage your grid here with a very high proportion, sometimes on a night time, 50% of your energy comes from renewable energy sources. This is, you know, there aren't many countries in the world, there's Denmark and Spain. So that, how you manage that grid and how you manage it going forward, energy storage technologies, how you build the financial products that allow those things to happen, these are learnings the world needs. This is something you can do for everyone else. In the area of clean tech, given the interaction in this country between ICT and energy, and the fact that the leading companies of the world are located here and that we have a skilled uh, people prepared to put their, put their ingenuity uh, to work. Uh, I think it's an exciting area for the future. If you look at, uh, at the green economy today, um, uh, all around the globe, there is a shortage of, of capital and there's a shortage of uh, innovative financing structures to make a lot of these projects work. We've got a huge demand globally for alternative energy uh, and one of the, one of the key uh, shortages is actually capital. So uh, Ireland having a, an international financial services centre which has a, a track record of innovating uh, financial structures um, has taken the approach that we want to apply these financing structures to the green economy. From a wind generation, from a biomass generation, from an offshore generation point of view, we can be a significant exporter of energy to, uh, to, to Europe, to the United Kingdom, where you have a significant demand. We see that as a huge opportunity we got to embrace it. Uh, well, Dublin City Council recognises its role within the green economy in general, and having a green IFSC in Dublin City is obviously going to create jobs, create investment. Based on what we heard here today from um, Minister Rabbit and from uh, Tisha Kenda Kenny, this is something that's actually going to grow very, very fast. And of course, Dublin City would like to position itself at the centre of those growth areas.